Well, hello there, all of my royal subjects and the beautiful people of my royal court. It is I, Princess Lindsay, and we are here in my castle, in the kitchen. I have given the servants time off to go and mend their raggedy clothes in the village because, you know, they must look presentable if they're going to be in my kingdom. That is correct. <laughs> and now it is a chance for me to practice my skills because a princess is a domesticated one and we like to learn different things and who doesn't love to eat? And I like to make people happy, therefore providing them with food and sustenance in a creative and beautiful way is a joyous way to share yourself and your personality and your love. <gasps> Today, we are going to talk about eggplant parmesan. Who doesn't love eggplant parmesan? Now really, who? Who doesn't like it? I will banish them from the kingdom. I will send them to the gallows. Yes, I will. <clears throat> because eggplant parmesan is a beautiful, wondrous thing. And I have upped the ante, as you'd say, because I'm a princess after all. <laughs> this is what I do. I make things extra, darling. I am making royal eggplant parmesan. It is my version as a princess to make this lovely dish into something even more wonderful. So we have a beautiful eggplant here and I think we shall get started. Shouldn't we? Yes, we should. Okay. I would like you to put your oven at 375. Now, what I have done in advance, which is what you should do as well at home, is you take an eggplant and you want to chop it up, you want to cut it in half, and then you want to cut it in quarters. And then you want to put it in a four, you want to brush it with olive oil, and then you want to put it in the oven for 400 degrees for 10 minutes. What this does is it makes the eggplant, it gives it a little boost, a little head start, a little sauna time, if you will. <laughs> Who doesn't love an infrared sauna? We don't have that for our little eggplant, but we do have a lovely regular oven for our eggplant to have a little, a little sauna time. So I've done that, and this is what my lovely, delicious eggplant looks like. It is nice, it's a little soft, just like my ex's head, a little soft in the head. And we are going to use this to make a delicious royal eggplant parmesan. Now, why is it royal? Well, first of all, it's royal because I am making it. <laughs> but it's also royal because it is a little bit special. It's elegant. It's delicious. It makes it very fancy. So I've got puff pastry sheets, one package. Got my oven at 375. And I am going to, I've been thawing this outside at room temperature for about 38 minutes. I'm going to take one of these delightful sheets out. You can make your own puff pastry if you want to. I mean, I know that Snow White makes it sometimes and she loves to brag about that. Oh, my homemade puff pastry. I just lie and tell her that I make it too, but I don't. <laughs> I buy a Pepperidge Farm and it works out just fine. I've got a pan here and I've got my Silpat in here because silicone can be very, very good. And I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to just take one of my sheets and carefully open it so it doesn't break. And you're going to just lay it down, lay it down Sally onto my baking sheet. Press it out. If it does come apart, don't panic. Just press it back together. This is not a problem. Okay. Now, that is looking good. Press, press, press. I am pressed for time. I'm pressing my puff pastry. This will continue to thaw a little bit. But we do want our pastry rather cold. So I'm going to let it stay nice and in shape just like that. Now, I would like to add my ingredients. So, first of all, I have a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Now, you probably are not going to need this entire can. That's okay, do not fret. You 
can save the tomato for later for other things. Drop that over there. I'm going to wash my hands, look how dirty. And I'm going to take a spoon and I'm just going to spread some lovely, lovely tomato sauce on the bottom. Now you want to leave about a one inch border because we are going to put the other piece of puff pastry over this to cover this lip like a little, little pie. It's going to be delightful. Don't worry about getting a little messy. I always get messy in the kitchen and that's okay. It's okay, darlings. Little mess is okay. It's called life. Oops, see, I just plopped it all over the place. <laughs> oh my. I'm doing a generous amount at the bottom of my, I want to get a lot of those tomatoes in there and not so much juice. I want tomatoes, darling, tomatoes. Okay. Voila. Oh, that is messy. Ooh. I am a messy, messy chef. I want you to know that. I think it's fun to make a mess. <laughs> Oh, my ex did not like me being messy in the kitchen, but who cares? He's gone. <laughs> okay, I'm just opening up this for a moment, but I'm going to do my egg set next. But I want to make sure my ricotta is ready. This is a 15 ounce can of cat can. What is that container? It's a container <laughs> of ricotta. Now, I want to take my egg pan. Where is it? It's over here. And I just want to lay these down on to, maybe I'll do them this way, so they're pretty. Yes, darlings, can you see this all? I hope you can. I'm laying this down like so. Doesn't have to be pretty because no one's going to really see this that much. I mean, after all, it's going in a little container. Very good. Okay, let's see, need two small pieces for the edge here. We want it to be relatively full, that edge, because you want to try to pack in as much eggplant flavor as possible, because eggplant is delicious, children. It's delicious. Just going to figure out little places to drop this eggplant in. Lovely. Now, I want to put some ricotta down. So I need a little spatula. I think I'll do a spatula. And we're just going to gently massage our eggplant <laughs> with some lovely ricotta. Do not put a giant amount. Just put a nice coating on your eggplant. Mm -hmm. Now, some people in eggplant parmesan do not use ricotta. Ah, they are mad, I tell you, mad. It's delicious in this dish. And of course, as I said, this is my version, which is royal eggplant parmesan. Now, I would like to add some basil. Oh, you know what, first, let's add a little salt and pepper, shall we? <laughs> Don't forget to season all of your food. So a generous amount of salt, generous amount of pepper. La 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 Remember I told you, princesses sing when they cook. <laughs> okay, now I would like to lay my basil down and do just a nice, generous amount of basil, some say basil, on top. I am very generous with my basil because I love it. I think it's a delicious herb. This is from my garden out back behind the castle. The little elves take care of that. So sometimes I like to be called gnomes. I don't know, it depends on what political stance they're going at lately. It changes every month. <laughs> Oh, but I love my kingdom and I love all of my royal subjects. They're all so wonderful and nice. And we get together and we have balls and we dance and we sing. And it is absolutely divine. 
It really is. Okay, now that's going well. We need a lot more basil. Don't be shy with your basil. It is absolutely delicious and it's going to taste sublime, darling. Sublime. I need another piece. That goes in there. This goes in here. How are you all doing today? What are you up to? This is what I'm doing because I love to cook. Even though Mumsy the Queen thinks it's a very gauche of me to learn how to cook. She said, princesses don't cook. I said, my dear Mumsy, the modern princess absolutely cooks. Absolutely. She knows everything. She can do it all, darling. Do it all. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Don't you? Yes. Now, I think I should add some garlic. You can if you add, add some if you want to, and if you don't, it's okay. But I think garlic is delicious. So I'm going to take about two cloves. Where is my cutting board? Over here. I'm going to smash these. I'm making a mess. Just letting you know I'm making a mess. <laughs> smash these cloves. Smash them. Smash them, smash them, just like the patriarchy. <laughs> smash them like the patriarchy, kids. Oh, yes, indeed. Now, just gonna chop these, a rough chop. Doesn't have to be gorgeous, doesn't have to be glamorous. It can be very rough. Mmm. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, I think that's good. I'm just going to spread this over my lovely royal eggplant parmesan. It's going on top of my basil. Basil, basil. You say basil, I say basil. You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> Whatever works for you, darling. Whatever floats your little boat. Okay. I think that's good. Do I want more garlic? Hmm. I don't think you'll never have too much. Off with you. Off with the heads. Oh yes, here we go. Let's chop this up. I want more, I want more. I always want more and more and more. There is nothing wrong with wanting more in life. There is nothing wrong with wanting it all. I'm just making up songs. Making them up as I go. This is a lot of garlic. I just want to let you know that. But I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, I think that's good. Now, what's next? Ah, cheese. <laughs> what is a that parmesan without cheese, darlings? I mean, really. So, we've got parmesan and we've got mozzarella. I think we'll start with mozzarella. This is an eight ounce package. You're not gonna use it all. By the way, you have leftover everything from this dish. You can make two of these with the amount of ingredients I'm giving you. So don't be shy if you have a party happening. Make two. Everyone will love it. So I'm just putting a generous amount on here. A mozzarella. Watch my princess leaves. And now I want to put on a generous helping of Parmesan. This is 14 month aged Parmesan. Thank you, Sargento. <laughs> And I want to put a generous amount of this on because I love cheese. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, delightful. Oh, yes, indeed. It already looks divine, darlings. My edge here is not doing so well, though. I gotta push all my ingredients in. That's okay. Don't be afraid to be a little pushy. <laughs> I'm gonna smush all my ingredients in just a tad. There you go because we're going to seal this with another, with our second sheet of Parmesan cheese. So we want there to be a space for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, at this point, hmm, I think I wanna also add a tiny bit more tomato sauce, but very little, just on top, 
Give it a little bit more flavor. A little bit more. Just so that tomato flavor really does come through. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Now, I want to add a little bit more pepper. This is going to be divine, 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 divine. Mm. And where's my salt? Oh, I put it away already, did I? Oh, lordy. It's <sighs> unlike me to put things away. <laughs> okay. Very good. Now, what I need to do, first we need to clean up some of these items because I've got things everywhere, darling. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Ricotta, I'm done with you. Bye-bye. Oh, someone's at my door. Why? Who could it be? Oh no, it's Lord I Don't Like You. <laughs> what do you want, Lord I Don't Like You? What do you possibly want with me today? What's that? Why are you up in arms? Oh, he's up in arms because he hates eggplant. Oh, well, Lord Pain in My Buttocks, this is why I don't want you around anymore, because I do love eggplant. Therefore, off with your head. <laughs> That's what I think about that. Okay, now we're going to put this up here because we are going to rule out. Oh, I don't have enough room. Darlings, I don't have enough room. Okay, I would like to roll out the barrel. Roll out the barrel. Wrong song. Oh, oh. Okay, I would like to roll out this other puff pastry so that it is a little bit bigger than the bottom. Bigger than the bottom piece. So it can lay over there nicely. Generous amount of flour down. I got this idea, by the way, from Ina Garten, who is my fairy godmother. And such a wonderful, wonderful, delightful human. She is most, most amazing. Just going to roll this out so it gets bigger. All I want to do, I need to move this out of the way. I need room. I need room, room, room to do things, darling. Oh, this is still kind of, uh, it's still kind of cold, so you got to put some elbow grease into it, kids. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm sweating. I should say that princesses don't sweat. They glimmer. They glimmer, darling. They glimmer. Now you want this to be bigger on all sides. So it can lay over your puff pastry and we can seal it with a kiss. That looks pretty good to me. Let's test it out. Okay. So, spread this over. Oh, maybe more. Maybe more this way. Okay. You'll know when you spread it out over your lovely concoction here, if it is big enough. That looks pretty good, actually. Oh, lovely. Oh, works for me if it works for you, kids. <laughs> now, all I'm going to do is like a little pillow, <laughs> rest my head on it. <laughs> okay, first I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to crimp the edges, almost like you would do with a pie all around. Don't worry if it hangs over because you can cut it if you need to when it comes out of the oven, okay? So do not panic. Panicking is for sissies. A princess never panics. I can't even get over here, so this side is going to look a little funky, but no matter. It's going to be delicious. Okay, there we go. Now, voila. Now what I'd like to 
do is I need to brush. Oh, I forgot to seal the edges with the egg wash. <laughs> this is where we learn our lesson that princesses do make mistakes. <laughs> I had some tomato sauce, so it pretty much stuck by itself without needing the egg wash in between the layers. But if you're going to do it properly, you're supposed to do a little egg wash <laughs> in between these layers. But with all that tomato sauce, it seems to have stuck pretty well all by itself. All right, I'm going to add a little water to this to make a nice little egg wash. Okay. And then all we're going to do is brush, 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 and use over the sink because it is messy. And I am a messy, messy person. Okay. Ugh. I will tell you, I seem to be messier than usual today. I don't know what that's about, but never mind. Okay, we're going to brush our first edges with our delightful egg wash. It's going to give it a beautiful sheen and make it so pretty. Everyone is going to ooh and ah and say, aren't you amazing? Now I want to brush the entire thing with the egg wash, just like that. By the way, an egg wash, all it is is, is one egg with some water. That's all, that's all it is. That's all an egg wash is. It's that simple. Now I want to make also some slits at the top because otherwise, uh, well, it might explode. <laughs> so, knife. Ah, oh. ah, there goes my spatula. <laughs> I'm going to use these slits that are already here from the existing puff pastry. These lines really shouldn't be there, but no matter. I'm just going to make it part of the decoration. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous. This is going into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes and when it comes out, oh, oh my darlings, it's going to be delicious. I will see you in a moment. I can't wait to see how this comes out. All right, my lovelies, it is finished. Let's take a look. divine that is. Ooh, and it's sliding right off of the sill pad, which is why we like to use the sill pad. Ooh, I'm so excited. Shall we cut it open and see what it looks like? I think we shall. Let's see. I'm going to use a knife. Alrighty. Mmm. Oh, this flaky puff pastry is so divine. If I cut through, cut through, oh, and it smells delicious. And I can already see the cheesy, fabulous goodness. Let's get to plate. Okay, spatula. <laughs> All the things we need and require in life to get this done. Ooh, look at that cheese. Oh my goodness. I can see the layers. It looks absolutely delicious. Mm. Let's try it. The ultimate test is to try it and see how it tastes. But look how pretty that is. And the fact that we pre-cooked the eggplants a little bit means that it should be perfectly the right amount of cookness. Cookness? Yes, it's a word. <laughs> okay, I'm trying it. It looks hot. Mm -hmm. Oh my word. It is absolutely delicious. 
delicious. The cheese, the eggplant, ooh, steaming, piping hot like me. delightful if I do say so myself and I will. <laughs> Don't forget to give yourself compliments when you have done a good job princesses. Now I suggest you make this. I suggest you serve it. People will be wild and amazed and you will be the talk of the village. If you like the recipe please go to ladiesinthepink.com and remember you're a princess and you can do anything. <laughs>